What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, super excited to bring you guys a ranked regulation F team that features Blastoise. Now Blastoise, super dope Pokemon and is actually very strong on the rank ladder when used properly. This one right here is built to perfection and can be used in high ranks. Blastoise is rocking out with Fake Out for first turn flinches, Ice Beam, Hydro Pump, and Flash Cannon for just a perfect moveset to cover all different typings across the meta. It also has Torrent as its ability, Mystic Water as its item, and Terra Blast, allowing Hydro Pump to do an insane amount of damage. Now, Blastoise, you don't really get to see it too much on rank because it's very a niche Pokemon and Rillaboom counters, counters it a lot. But built with this team and built with this set right here, it's actually pretty strong. We should be able to grab you guys some wins with this squad. The squad also features a bunch of other meta Pokemon, such as Golden Go and Tornadus. Pair both of them up together, pop the Tailwind, make it rank and go first, and you can do some big time damage. We also have Indeedee for a nice little support on the squad, and then we got Arcanine and Fluttermane for a great special attacker and a big time physical attacker. Guys, you want to rent this team for yourself? The rental code is at the top right hand corner, and if you do enjoy today's video, make sure you leave a like on it, and if you're not subscribed to the channel, get on top of that. But without further ado, let's hop into match number one, showcasing Blastoids. We're here hopping into our first match for today's video, going up against a top tier meta Archaludon team alongside with Urshfu, Incineroar, Rollboom, big time threats to my Pokemon, and then last but not least, they got Thunderous and Landers. Now Rollboom, definitely going to be annoying, especially up against Blastoise, it pretty much just rips into it. But Pokemon that I really am going to like in today's matchup is going to be Indian. The Psychic Surge is just going to be huge, especially controlling that, taking off Grassy Surge, and stopping fake outs from opponents. So, that is something I really, really like. So, do I go Blastoids here? I could go Blastoids. I could definitely leave Blastoids, especially for fake out purposes. Something I really, really like. So, I'm going to go into Blastoids, and I'm also going to lead Tornadus. Yeah, with the Cover Cloak, I actually like that. I could pop Rain Dance as well. They could pop Rain Dance as well. Maybe we just don't even bring. Blastoids. I don't know. Or maybe not Tornadus. This one's definitely going to be tough. But we definitely want to bring in Indeedee. But I don't know if we lead it. I do have Trick Room on you, don't I? I do. I do. So I can pop Trick Room if I want to. That could definitely be a play. That could definitely be a play. But I'm going to end up leading Indeedee. And I'm going to go... You know what? No, we're not leading Indeedee. We're going to lead Arcanine. We're going to lead Fluttermane. We're going to bring Blastoids and then Indeedee. Final decision, five seconds left, locking it down. Looking for a win here in match number one. Gonna be tough, especially when we're going up against this meta team right here. But, you know, who knows? Who knows? Sometimes, sometimes come out on top, especially when you're first in meta team. We'll see. We'll see, but Blastoids, we're trying to rip up with him. But again, Rillaboom is a huge counter to him. That's just gonna be a problem. So they end up leading both of these Pokemon. I get out Arcanine and Fluttermane. Um, Stamina looking rather annoying. Um... Huh, Lecture Shot looking rather annoying. I could pop a nice level of Rock Slide. I could throw some burns around the field. Um, I don't really know how to deal with this this Pokemon right here. This Archaludon. Massive threat. It's a bit too big of a threat for me right now. I think it's just going to be a annoying Pokemon that is going to be a pain to deal with. But from here, I'm just going to pop a Rock Slide. And I think we're just going to pop a Parasong at the same time. Yeah, I think we're just going to pop a Parasong at the same time. I think Parasong might be our one of our best options here. The reason I want to pop a Parasong is I just want to force this Arch Ludon to swap out. We can't have it on the field for too long. So we end up going into a Grass Terror type, which actually isn't too bad. But I'm kind of curious to see why it went to the Grass Terror type. I mean, Grass Terror type in rain is not bad. It's not going to take crazy damage to, to this What's It Called. To a fire blitz if I go into it. But I end up going first, Rock Slide. Maybe we get a flinch, that could be pretty lovely, but this thing's just gonna get stabbed in the boost. Now, this is where it gets really annoying. So, oh, we do get the flinch. That's actually pretty massive. Now, Flutter means Parish is gonna drop a little bit. But from here, we're just gonna stay on the field and we're just gonna drop, drop another Rock Slide. I definitely feel like that's our best bet. So, I'm gonna Rock Slide again. I'm gonna now swap you into Blastoids in the rain. Do we think he's going for an Electro Shot? Maybe. Maybe, right? He could be going into Electro. That could be a little bit of a problem, especially into the Flutter main slot. But I think Flash Cannon more so than anything. 
Flash Cannon more than Electro Shot, right? So I'm gonna swap Flutter Mate into Blastoise. I can then fake out next turn. And I can have this Parasol and just keep dropping, right? So Eerie Impulse is gonna fly into you, which is not bad. I mean, I'm physical attacking, so I'll take that. Rock Slide, of course, is missing. My RNG has been terrible lately. Who we hit? We're hitting you, so we bring you down to 1 HP, and he goes for a Body Press, and that's gonna KO me. Does not KO me. Beautiful. Beautiful. I'm able to eat up a berry. So we have Archaludon's count really low right now. If Archie's count low. And do I fake it out here? Do I fake out the Archaludon? Because at this point, he can just eerie impulse me. That's something I would not like too much. I kind of want to just go for Rock Slide, and I kind of... Uh, do I fake it out? Yeah, I'm going to fake it out. I'm going to fake it out. And then just hard swap Arcanine next turn. Because he's probably going to Eerie Impulse my Blastoids. The fake out comes across here. We make this thing flinch. Wasting out some turns. You can have the stamina boost. I don't care. I don't care. Thunder Wave's going to fire. So he's just putting up his Paralyzers. So Arcanine, can you land this Rock Slide onto Tornado? Just so we can get rid of it. Just so we can get rid of it. I love it. Alright, cool. So we get rid of him. Arcanine's down the one turn. Same thing with Arch Ludon. So Arch Ludon's probably forced to swap it, right? He's probably forced to swap it. I might do a double swap. Let's see who they bring in here. I'm kind of hoping Rollaboom, right? I'm kind of hoping Rollaboom. Because if Rollaboom comes out here, I can hard swap freely into Indeedee. And just take that terrain. So let's see. It is going to work. So I think we might just want to do a double swap here. Or I can say Blastoids eats up a Grassy Glide. Which would be pretty big. But I'm going to hard swap into Indeed here, no problem. And on top of that, I am going to hard swap. Actually, we're going to hard swap Blastoids into Indeed. And we're going to hard swap Arcanine into Flutter Me. Just in case the Body Press wants to stay in effect here. We're going to do that. And then we are just going to do the double swap. So double swap's going to come out here. If they want to hard swap Arch Ludon, they can. I think they might, but if not, it dies out the Parasong. I don't use Parasong too much, but that just seemed like a perfect time to actually use it. So we're going to pull out the double swap here. Not playing around. I'm going to change that terrain. We're saying, yo, that's enough of that terrain right there. And he's just going just gonna to withdraw Archaludon. So we get rid of Archaludon, all, all of Archaludon's stats. All those stamina boosts we're not dealing with, and they're forced to throw out their final Pokemon, which is Urshifu. Water Urshifu. Big time threat to us. We don't like that. I get to bring out Flutter there. There's a great little counter that. And they don't have Terra either. And they end up going for a fake out. Cool. So I get out the big time swaps. Um, I think here, Dazzling Gleam, easily our top play. And do we pop a Trick Room? Do we just pop a Dazzling Gleam? Let me check your speed real quick. Your choice spec, but if that thing is choice scarf, then he's out speeding you. That's where we run into a little bit of a problem, right? I think Follow Me is going to be your play. I still have Terra, don't I? Do I Terra you in the straight fairy and just look for damage here? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, that's exactly what we need. I could go for help in hand, but I'm going to go follow me just in case with the off chance that this Earth is being choice scarf. We're going to follow me the shot. Yo, this is such a good matchup. This is such a good matchup. So we played the Robin pretty perfectly, right? We swapped in at the perfect time. He could swap out now. We played the Arch Ludon really well, too, especially with Parasong. We really got after it. But now I'm using my Flutter Main to just straight up attack with the choice specs. So I hit that Terra button. Dazzling Gleam cooking out here. If this Urshu's not Sash, it's dead, right? Yep, get it on out my face. Plus, we do a massive amount of damage on the real boom. He cannot swap and take terrain, and we can pretty much just start locking this match up. Actually, never mind. He U turns here. What a play. What a play. He takes some damage with Rocky Helmet, but he is going to get that grassy terrain back. A little annoying, but at the same time, I can still start ripping here. I can still start ripping. Get the grassy terrain back. Last last turn, too, with a U-turn. Smart play for them. So they're able to get out the terrain. That's huge for them. And they're able to bring back out Arch Loot. So now Arch Loot not sitting here. The rain is gone, which is huge. It is huge because they cannot go into Electro Shot. But Follow Me is looking like a little bit of a problem. Same thing with Fake Out. Same thing with Fake Out. So the real question is, do I just hard swap? Do I just hard swap Fluttermane? Because they could just fake me out here. I would love to pop a Parasong, but I really can't. 
I'm thinking of just hard swap Fluttermane into Arcanine. Just to intimidate and to stop Fake Out from coming after Fluttermane. Alongside with like a Flash Cannon. So I'm going to do that and I'm just going to go for Dazzling Gleam. Look to finish off this, uh... This, uh... Roll Boom. So I'm hard swapping out here. Bring it back out, Arcanine. Yo, I've been playing so good on the Rank Glider for Regulation F. Hopefully you guys are enjoying. There's an Intimidate going out onto the Roll Boom. Going out onto that guy. And he's just going to grass guy this slot, which I'm able to serve. Beautiful. And the Flash Cannon's going to fight. He's going to stay into the Indeedy slot. I don't mind that. I don't mind that. Because I'm soaking. I guess special defense drop. But that's the should be able to finish off Roll Boom. Ouch. Ouch. That really hurts. That really hurts. So they're going to pick up a double KO here. I'm not going to swap in and out Pokemon. I would love to look to just land this uh, Will O Wisp here. And I guess we'll go for Dazzling Gleam. If we can. Grass Guy's going to finish you off. And then he's going to be able to finish me off. Okay. So nothing crazy here. I get to bring out Blast Hoods, which is pretty solid. And hopefully fake out. Actually, we can just fake out the Will right? Yeah, fake out Roll Boom and drop Dazzling Green. I don't mind it. I don't mind it. And the reason we have to fake out the Roll Boom rather than the uh, the Archer Ludon is because of... Is because if not, he just gets to go for a Grass Guide and then finish me off. Which is a big time problem. Definitely a big time problem. But Blastoise does have Ice Fuel on him, which is good. So let's see how much damage our Flutterman can actually do with Dazzling Green. From here, we're just going to fake out the Roll Boom, make sure it can't go for a Grass Guide, and then just Dazzle Gleam across the board. We're hoping Roll Boom doesn't have Protect, right? We're hoping Roll Boom doesn't have Protect, and it doesn't. Cool. The so Fake Out coming out up against that. He's flinching. No Grass Guides allowed. Dazzle Gleam flying. So Dazzle Gleam's going to finish off Roll Boom. Should do a nice chunk of damage on the Archer Ludon, which it does. And now the problem here is, does Flash Cannon KO my Fluttermane? Most likely, right? Most likely. It's looking scary. It's looking scary. It doesn't. Okay, cool. We win this match. No problem. We win this match now. We win this match. I'm a Dazzling Gleam. I'm an Ice Beam up into this thing. And we played this one actually perfect. This was a tough matchup for us. And I came out hot. Dropped the Parasong. Swapped in and out perfectly. And they ended up just canceling the battle. What a way to get this video started. An amazing first match from ourselves and our opponent. And we ended up catching that dub. Come on, man. Too easy. That's too easy. But we're hopping into our second match. Going up against a really cool Iron Boulder team with Metagross. Iron Bundle. Then they also have Whimsicott, Tornadus, and Incineroar for first turn flinches and for first turn Intimidates. Um, hmm. What's my play here? I could go into Blastoids. I actually really like Blastoids just to flinch back at him with fake outs and I like its typing. So I'm going to go into Blastoids. I think I'm also going to go into Tornadus. Yes. No. Yes. Yes. Tornadus Blastoids. I like that a lot. So Tornadus Blastoids is going to come out here. A Pokemon that I'm a little worried about is going to be Metagross. I kind of want to bring in Arcanine to deal with that. And then last but not least, do I go into Fluttermane or do I bring in the Golden Go? These are questions that I'm, that I'm, that I don't know what I should do. Because Fluttermane's going to be great up against everybody besides the Metagross. But Gold Go, not too bad up against the Metagross, right? It has Shadow Ball, super effective. It's Stab. But Fluttermane's just really good. But I'm going to end up going Gold Go. Fluttermane did come in clutch in the last match, but I just feel like Gold Go a little bit better here. Just, just a tad bit. Just a tad bit better. Just typing this, right? Because, I mean, if you bring in Fluttermane, they have Metagross, Bullet Punch, I'm dead on. Like, that's just, I'm just not surviving. I'm just not. I'm just not. But they end up going into Whimsicott and Iron Boulder for lead. So here, I could pop a Tailwind if I want. I could. But they could also pop a Tailwind. They could also pop a Tailwind. And you know what? I'm just going to fake out Iron Boulder. And I'm just going to Bleak Windstorm here. I could go for a Hydro Pump if I want to. I could Tailwind Hydro Pump, but you know what? I'm just going to fake out the Iron Boulder. I'm just going to fake out the Iron Boulder, and I'm just going to go for a Bleak Wind Storm here. You got Quick Guard. You got Quick Guard. You really got Quick Guard? 
such good play. Okay, actually, Iron Boulder used it. That actually, that's actually better for me. That Iron Boulder used it. Okay, I thought what's called. Okay, beautiful. That works perfect. I thought Wimscott used it because I thought Wimscott used Quick Guard, and then Iron Boulder was just going to dump on my Tornadoes, and we weren't going to be able to get off Tailwind. But they end up just popping Tailwind, so that's not a big deal for me. That's definitely not a big deal. Here, I can go Tailwind. I could go Hydro Pump here. And I could also Terrasalize if I want to, just to make sure this thing dies out, right? I would love to just get rid of the Iron Boulder, but I feel as without Terra, we're KOing. So I'm going to go Tailwind here. Um, actually, does Tailwind matter? Yeah, it does matter. We have to get it off for the rest of the squad. So he's going to... Come on, man. He's going to encore me. He's going to encore me. That hurts the soul, man. Just these gimmicky moves just doing me dirty right now. Quick Guard and Encore. Mighty Klee coming out here. I'm dead to that. I'm dead to that. And that's what I thought was coming through last turn. So now I can't really do anything. I can't really do anything. Which kind of sucks. Um, I could go into Arcanine. And just intimidate which not bad not bad for us um i could go into golden go maybe just try to pop and make it rain but at the same time a little bit of an issue would i rather swap into this is a real question because i have to swap to blastoids blastoids is a must swap he's a must swap and we can't go into will o wisp because it's a problem for us right now i think we're just gonna go into golden go and then we're gonna hard swap Wow, tough news for us. I like Golden Ghost typing here. I really do. I am encored for the next two turns, right? Yeah, two turns into that. So I'm going to hard swap into Arcanine. Really solid encore there. If he didn't encore, we probably would have been sitting in such a solid position. And then from here, we're just going to rip a Shadow Ball into the Boulder slot. Now, Boulder, big time problem. Big time problem right now. We don't like it. We simply just don't like it. Wimscott can hit rather hard with Moonblast, but we're kind of hoping it's not Rocket Energy. But yeah, he has Encore and Quick Guard. Quick Guard on Terrakion. A little crazy. But I understand it, though. A lot of Fake Out users, especially when you pull out Wimscott, Fake Out is usually just like a must pull out. Now, on Hard Swap and Arcanine, I will intimidate this thing. And of course, he's clear Amulet. Just nothing going our way in this matchup. Just nothing going our way in this matchup. And he's going to end up terrestrializing the Terrakion? Well, not Terrakion. Iron Bolt. And wow, dude, there's like nothing going our way. Our opponent's playing so good here. They just got the perfect moves, perfect terror type, perfect everything to kind of counter us right now. Moonblast flying in this slot. We're able to soak. Actually, still doing a nice chunk of damage. Okay, it was a crit. Like, what is going on here? And a throat chop flying through here. You had a nice little eight, 1 HP survival, but I mean, what, are we really doing any damage to this thing? No. No, we're not. This is brutal. This is brutal. How many turns are left? I died to life. Oh, man. How many turns are left in the town? I get to bring out you. I think we learned our lesson about... I could fake out the Wimscott. Just to KO it. That wouldn't be bad. Um, Because they have one turn left in Tailwind. That might be my best bet. Just to fake out the Wimscott. Or I could just go Rock Slide here. And I could fake out the Terrakion. Force him to use Quick Guard. That's not a bad play for me. As long as Rock Slide lands, they can't Encore me, right? As long as Rock Slizzle lands, they cannot Quick Guard. So yeah. I'm gonna do that. Or they can Quick Guard me, but they can't Encore me. So he's just gonna go for the Quick Guard. I don't, I don't mind that. As long as Rock Slide lands, I like where we're sitting. I don't, I, I don't mind the quick guard there. As long as Rock Slide lands. We got Charm. Yo, this thing is just, Dude, they have the most perfect moves counter me here. Rock Slide coming in higher. It does end up landing, which is awesome. But the most perfect moves to counter me. I'm now minus two on my Arcanine. Their Tailwind's gone. We have another turn left in Tailwind. Um, I'm going to look to clutch up with Blastoids, but this is just... Mm -mm. Uh-uh, ain't looking good. Not looking good. Not <laughs> looking good. Our opponent's playing so well. They have the, like, dude, again, the most perfect moves. Perfect terror type. This team build is ridiculous. So they end up going into the iron bundle. This is where things become a problem. So I do have... He's probably going to be able to outspeed me with that speed height in there. 
But I think our best bet would just be go rock slide here. And do we tear a flash cannon or would you just stay in flash cannon? I mean, our terror doesn't really matter here. We definitely just want to drop a flash cannon, though. All right, let's see how this one plays out here. Fire Bundle was smart, he would protect, but I'm hoping Rockside could just still KO. And honestly, I'm hoping it doesn't protect and I'm able to soak up this freeze dry, because freeze dry won't be a problem. Iron Bundle is smart, and he ends up protecting. Rockside, I need you landing. I need you, I need you taking out this Iron Boulder for us to have any type of shot. Thank you. And you're gonna KO. Okay, so now we're here in a weird spot, right? With Iron Bundle on the field, we don't really have a Terror to swap in. Because if we swap Terrors for Arcanine, it's already low enough HP where it dies out. Blastoise just changes into water. So it's not really changing into any type, it's just adding boost to its water type moves. So from here, they're gonna throw out Tornadus, and now they don't have Tailwind. And actually, his HP is not as low as I thought it was, but you're minus two on attack, which is brutal. So I'm still gonna throw this, and I could throw an Ice Beam just to finish you off. But the problem is we kind of have to get rid of Iron Bundle, right? We have to get rid of Iron Bundle first and foremost. Free Shy's gonna come out here. Are we soaking this? We do soak it. We do soak it. And he's doubled down the blast. It's tough, tough play. Tough play. But smart play. So yeah, if we probably would have got off that flash cannon, we could have been sitting rather decent. Because all I need to do is drop one Ice Beam Tornadus, and we would have KO'd. But Rock Slide is missing. And it doesn't really do any crazy damage onto that Iron Bundle. So solid matchup from our opponent. I'm just going to run this now. That charm was actually really clutch. Like I said, that Whimsicott and that Iron Boulder just had a ridiculously strong move set up against our lead. and really did us dirty. Final match coming at you guys. Would love to grab ourselves a winning record here with Blastoise, but we're going up against a pretty cool team. Gouging Fire, I think that's dope Pokemon. Dope brand new Pokemon alongside with Latias. They got Ogre Pond, then rocking out with Iron Hands, Fluttermane, and last but not least, King Gambit. So, Gouging Fire is Dragon type. Um, Fluttermane's not bad up against it. It's very neutral because it does have the part fire type, but I kind of like Fluttermane for up against a lot of these other Pokemon. So, Fluttermane's probably a great back end Pokemon for the squad. I don't mind Blastoids either, just for fake outs and for other stuff because it has a bunch of good coverage moves to deal with a lot of these Pokemon. So I think I am just going to lead Blastoids. So Blastoids comes out here for the lead, and we're also going to lead it with maybe Arcanine. Because if they have a few physical attackers such as King Gambit and and uh, Iron Hands, Arcanine could be good for the burns. But the only problem is if, if we intimidate turn one. So I kind of think they're going to lead King Gambit. A little bit of an issue if they do lead King Gambit, but at that point, I might just fake it out and attack it. So, yeah, I'm going to go into both of them. I'm going to bring Fluttermane in the back end, and last but not least, do we go in DD for a bit more support here? And DD's not bad. We could go hyper offensive with Golden Go, but I think having in DD with that Rocky Helmet and support factor is going to be a big part for our squad. So, I'm with it. I'm with it. If they lead King Gambit, like I said, I think we just fake it out and we just get right after it with the Fire Blitz. But if they do protect it, then then I, I don't really know how we're going to go from there because plus one King Gambit is tough. And they do end up leading King Gambit. Okay. Okay. I see it. They might just... Oh, what do I do here? What do I do? We do get the attack drop onto the Gouging Fire, which is pretty nice. Which is pretty nice, but we sacrifice that minus one for a plus one onto the Gambo. So, again, I could fake it out and just flare blitz it, but there's a high chance that he could just protect, right? There's a high chance he could just straight up protect here. High chance, definitely high chance. Um, I could terrestrialize. I could just drop a nice little hydro pump this slot. I don't know. I don't know because I think the gambo protects. But the simple play would just be to do that to the gambo. And I'm in full belief mode that that can gambo protect. So I'm gonna do that, and I'm just gonna drop a rock slide on top of that. I'm in full belief. I don't. Like, I'm in full belief that this that this game protects. And if it doesn't, we're in some trouble. We would be in some trouble. But fingers crossed for the protect here. We did Thrasize Blast Suits. They can just rip up some damage, right? Blast Stories, baby. Blast Stories. Told you, I'm in full belief, man. I was in full belief that that thing protects. That's why Gouging Fire, we want nothing to do with you. 
We're trying to just take you out here. He has minus one, which is big time for us. Rock slide is going to connect. Beautiful. Chunk up some damage. I think it's rather bulky. Hence the reason why we thrash slides. And they're just going to break and swipe into me. Good thing my blast swords is special attacking. We love that. We love that blast swords special attacking. And Hydro Pump's going to connect. Stab. Terror boost. Should be able to chunk up some nice damage. Maybe even KO here. Blastoids getting after it. Get on out of here, Gouge of Fire. So, solid first turn for us. Now, something that I want to do is try to put on a burn onto that King Gambit, right? I would love to burn that King Gambit. And they're going to go into a fake out user. So, now wouldn't be a bad turn for us to potentially swap maybe into a DD for the Blastoids just to reset our fake out and then just go for Will O Wisp onto the Gambo slot, right? Because right now, it looks like Blastoids is the main threat, especially with Arcanine being minus one. So I'm going to swap the Blastoids in. I'm going to set the terrain, which is beautiful. And I'm looking just to throw burns. If I could get two burns off on these Pokemon, on the King Gambit and Iron Hands, that would be massive for the squad. Two physical attackers burned. That'd be huge. That would be huge. So there's the fake out coming into who? Indeedy. So the, again, they were targeting down Blastoids, and I do end up playing the Swillowis. Mwah. Beautiful. Chef's kiss, baby. We love that. So King Gambit takes a nice little burn here. And a cow tackle. Ooh, that looked good. But with the burn, we do we do survive that, which is nice. And Rocky Helmet damage comes across. And burn damage. Okay. I like that. So now from here. We don't want to pop a trigger. That's just a big mistake. Um from here, we'll just let Indeedy die out. We're just gonna follow me. We're just gonna Willow Wisp here. And try to burn the iron hands now. That's my play. That's my play. Can we land this burn, please and thank you? Thank you. Thank you. Double burn on the field. Lovely. Big time burns coming out from us. Big time burns coming out from us. Here's Drain Punch. Indeed, he now survives. We live on two HP. So now King Gambit's forced to attack that. And from here, I could just bring out Fluttermane. Do I just bring out Fluttermane? I want to flare what's into that King Gambit slot now. Can't go for Sucker Punch either. We like that a lot. So big time turns from Arcanine. Arcanine getting off burns. Hitting some nice lovely rock slides. We like it a lot. Um, from here, like I said, I could go back into Blast Leads if I want to. But it's just very simple for us to go into Fluttermane here. And pretty much just start solidifying this match. So that's what I'm going to do. Blast Leads already got done its work. It already did its job. It already did its job. And from here, probably Moonblast would be a better choice into. So I'll go Moonblast and I'll just drop a Flare Blitz at the same time. But I think our opponent cancels. I'm not even going to lie. Two burns, I'd be out of here. I'd be like, yo, wrap it up. Wrap it up. We're done. We're done. We are done. But they end up Terrasalizing, probably Iron Hands most likely. And this could give us a little bit of trouble, especially with Heavy Slam. But with the burn, I think we should be fine. I think we should be fine. That's actually, ooh, that's a tough Terror type for us to kind of deal with. That's it. That is a nice tough terror type. But Sucker Punch can come through here. And we got the terrain. We love it. We love the terrain. Moonblast getting after it. Bop. Great damage with the crit. And we get a special attack drop, which really doesn't matter. Flare Blitz going to fly. This should KO. Even minus one. It doesn't, but we got the burn chipping up. Burn might be able to pick up the KO. Hopefully. If not, we leave him on one. Drain Punch going to fly. He's going to get back a little bit of HP. And this next turn, it's probably just Rock Slide. Moon blast into the Iron Hand slot. Can burn KO though? I hope so. Citrus Berry pops. We get back about 50 HP. Actually, exactly 50 HP. And now let the burns chip down. The burn chips up the Iron Hands. Does it pick up the KO on the Gambit? No, it becomes a 1 HP bandit. So he's sitting here at 1 HP, and I'm just going to do this, and I'm just going to pop a Rock Slide on top of that. But yeah, this match is looking super good for us. Moon Blast flies. It makes this thing also a 1 HP bandit. And Rock Slide's missing. It missed King Gambit. Love it. Now King Gambit gets off a big time damaging move. Something we don't... I'm missing moves a lot lately. But down goes 1 HP bandit. King Gambit will die out to burn. And he's just going to go for an Iron Head and KO my Fluttermane. So he gets a free turn there because he dodges a... Move. A little annoying, but I don't mind the Pokemon that we have out here. Mr. 1 HP bandit dies out. And now it turns to a 2v1 with Blastoids ready to go. We gotta remember we can't fake out because of terrain. And I do have Terror type. So depending on who their final Pokemon is, if it's Ogre Pond, that could be a problem. Didn't they have Ogre Pond? 
believe they did, and it's going to be Fluttermane. We don't mind that. We don't mind that because I get to go into Flash Cannon here. And on top of that, I'm just going to rip Flare Blitz or Rock Slides? Flare Blitzes. We like Flare Blitz. There's Dazzling Gleam coming out here. How much damage is this doing? Not bad damage, but I think we should be able to KO with this Flare Blitz and this, this Flash Cannon, right? Right? Give me the win. Give me the win. Flash Slides for the win. I think we lost. Maybe we should have Hydro Pump there. Hydro Pump? <laughs> yeah, I should have probably thought about that. Hydro Pump would have done more damage. Ouch. But I, I kind of want the accuracy boost. Oh, we're going to lose this. We're going to look. Is there anything I could do? Not really. We're going to lose this. Unless I could soak. Blastoids? Oh, my lord. We really lost that match. That's crazy. We played that one so well, too. But one and two for today's video. Blastoise so absolutely showing out. We grab ourselves a losing record. So, guys, there it is. One and two losing record for today's video. Still feel as we played really, really well up against our opponent. Solid three matches from me and our opponent. But like I said, we just ended up losing two matches and only winning one. But Blastoise was absolutely phenomenal. You got the fake out flinches. You got big time damage coming out with the Hydra Pump. And on top of that, you got some great coverage moves like Flash Cannon and Ice Beam. The rest of the team really thrived that well. Bunch of meta Pokemon that you guys seen plenty of times before. Still, I think this team is very strong rank ladder. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positive today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.